Away form, overreactions, and secret Santa. Just a few of the things we're going to be talking about this week on Arsenal Nation. <laughs> Welcome to the show. This is this week's Arsenal Nation. We have two very special guests for you this week. First up, he's a comedian, he's a presenter. He also acts, he didn't want me to tell you that. If there are no ends to this boy's talents, it's Johnny Cochran, the first time ever on Arsenal Nation. Yeah. Uh, next up, he's a regular. He's one half of the Cheeky Boys, and he's the cheekiest boy on the circuit. Cheeky Spot Joel! Hey. Come on! <laughs> Nice to have you back. I feel like there's a good energy in the room today. I think this is going to go well, hopefully. I also know that they differ on many views. So this is going to get interesting. First, on the agenda, we need to talk about Arsenal's poor performance away from home. So we've got a little stat for you here. This is from Opta Joe. So eight different clubs have won more points away from home in the Premier League than Arsenal have this season. City, Chelsea, United, Liverpool, Burnley, Watford, Leicester, Spurs. What's the issue here? Um, I think it's a combination of factors, to be honest. Like, I, I have been at pains to watch Arsenal away from home for a little while now, as I feel we just set up in the same way all the time. It doesn't matter what our opponent is, who they are, where they play, how they play, um, you know, and everyone knows, like, a cold Tuesday night against Burnley is different to playing in the new <laughs> Camp against Barcelona. You can't just play the same way all the time. Yeah. Um, we've struggled with a, with, without a plan B for a little while, so... I think that we need to start looking at the tactics and start having uh, uh, different options to tackle different problems, really. Well, we can't really say that because last year we didn't know how to play through at the back. Now we know how to play through at the back. Maybe now it's time to revert to 4-4-2 how we were playing before, yes, no? Or 5-4-1? But that's, that's, a, that's it. It's having options and being able to go, right, OK, that's not working, we'll go to that. And the difference is, is it's like all we ever do is the same thing. So we went from being a static 4-4-2 or 4-5-1 before mm -hmm. to now the only thing we ever play is 3-5-2. And then, you know, it, it's about being able to change it in game and uh, and due to the opponent that you're facing. We Joel, can say that. Sorry. If, if it's not if it's not about the formation, what about the squad? Yeah, I'll, I would look and say, to be honest with you, sometimes maybe the, the problem is the mitch matching of the players during the course of the game. Mm -hmm. We know that after 70 minutes, since, we know that after 70 minutes, uh, Lacazette's going to come off and Giroud's going to come on. Maybe. Giroud should be starting more games. So I'm not against it, mm -hmm. but in general, I like the, you know, diminutive, dynamic front line with Lacquer, who can run those channels, go in behind with Sanchez and Urza working off. I think we get too static when Giroud comes in. He... It, he is an effective player in some mate, mate, situations. you're talking about the guy, right, who scored the <laughs> scorpion kick. Let's not forget that, all right? You can't say that, he, you can't say that he's static. Great hold-up play. When you look across Europe, you're not going to find anyone who's got better hold-up play than that guy. I'm going to have to stop you because we could actually go on all day about this one, but there's other things that we need to talk about, and mm. one of those things is contracts. So, three players, three well-known players are out of contract this summer. Meza Ozil is the first one. Have a little look at that. We've got some stats on the screen for you now. Not only that, that, but Alexis Sanchez and Jack Wilshere, one of our old boys, also out of contract. When I say old boys, he's been at the club for years and years. He's only 25. Boys, my question to you is, who is most important to keep and why? So if you could keep hold of one of them, which one of those would you pick? I mean, it's, it's a tricky situation because Sanchez is our best player, on paper at least, uh, and I'd want to keep him. But he's doing part-time work at the moment. That's a lie. Uh, he's doing part-time work. <laughs> he's picking up bar shifts as well, I think. <laughs> in, his mean, in the meantime, he's not working hard. And um, I think because of that, it's, it's most important to keep Ozil. That's an amazing lie. Um, yeah. It's amazed you, and that's what I wanted to do. Uh, that's a lie. <laughs> um, do you want to know why that's a lie? Please. Did you see Ozil's volley uh, last week? Did you see that goal? Yeah. Yeah, amazing technique, right? Awesome stuff. Who was hounding down the defenders before the ball came back out? Who was it? Yeah, but the difference who was is it? We Sanchez, just Sanchez who was it? can run around who was it? every who now was it? and then. Yeah, so, so Sanchez was It was Alexis above. Sanchez, the guy who's apparently not working hard. Go no, on. but the different thing is, is one, on. one swallow doth mm. not make a summer. Yeah. OK? <laughs> and one little run is not going to be enough to convince me that he's, <laughs> he's putting it in. And at the end of the day, it's the flinging out arms, you he's know. He's been doing the... that since last year. We can't just act as if he was doing it this year. And he was scoring goals last year. He was our top goal scorer. Fair enough, in the last five games, he hasn't been amazing. But I'll tell you what, right? 
it's hard for him this season. Chile are not in the World Cup. Uh, the team not playing very well at the mo always, shall I say. Maybe at home we've been all right, but away we've not been great. And the morale has been down. Usually it's just down to him. I don't want to interrupt too much, boys, but here's a question, because you mentioned morale, and one boy that is... Arsenal through and through is Jack Wilshere, who we haven't even spoken about yet, also oh, out of contract. Jack. The question is, who are you going to keep? Are either of you going to keep Jack over Meza and, and Sanchez? I, th I think Jack's a different situation. First of all, I love Jack. Big up, Jack. Um, you know, anyone who gets a, what do you think, a Tottenham chant going, I've got time for. Nice one, Jack, <laughs> for that. But unfortunately, as much as I love him, his issue is not one of, you know, he's got the ability, all the ability, mm -hmm. but, and his issue is not one of being Arsenal through and through and trying. But unfortunately, he breaks down all the time. You know, he's less reliable than the TFL. You know, I, I can't get, I can't Joel, get to him from... Joel, is that a little <laughs> bit unfair? I mean, a lot of, some of Jack's injuries, especially the broken leg, they're impact injuries. They're not necessarily his body breaking down just out of nowhere. Yeah, you have no, no, no right talking about my guy, Jack Walsh. <laughs> you have no well, right what whatsoever. Are you, what, were you his doctor? Yeah. No, 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 mate, listen, man, you have no right talking about his injuries. And you know what? I love Jack as well. Big up, Jack. Uh, all I can say is that if I was to pick a player, to be honest with you, it will probably be... It'll be Alexis Sanchez, man. I'm sorry, man. I, I, I basically believe that when everybody is on form, on top form, you don't find a better player. And he's so good that I would risk him not, quote-unquote, playing as well as he, he should be playing or as well as he has been playing in the past. I would keep him, man. I would keep him and keep trying to build a team around him. I'm sorry, you know, if he if if it's his way to, to throw gloves on the floor here and there, maybe it's because he cares, all right? I'd rather someone throw gloves on the floor once in a while and show some passion than not care at all. That's not a reason for me to want to, to not think that his contract re renewal isn't important. Is that, what, is that showing passion, throwing gloves on the floor? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah? It is. To me, it is. I mean, you got... If I don't throw gloves on the floor, it means I don't care. you got, you got <laughs> your relationship. you got your relationship with your girlfriend and you just... Yeah. Down, throwing the gloves on the floor. And talking, oh, I love and you, I, babe. I look at that and go, there's a guy who really wants to make this work. <laughs> look at him. He's trying again. Yeah. Oh, my word. Like, oh, it's God. passion. You've got to love with passion. Ain't that right? But no, he, he, no, I, I think he's right there. Yeah. I've been looking at the wrong place for love, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, I need yeah. some boys throwing some gloves down in front yeah, of yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, all right, thank you very yeah. much. We've been playing a game of yes or no with our players all season, and this week it's the turn of Squadron Mustafi. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, um, for me, no. 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 What was your backup plan? Policeman. Ah, yes. <laughs> nope. Nope. <When> <laughs> See, I'm very talented. No, no, no. No. What did you sing? Justin Bieber. Now they can, before I was injured. So I think now they, now they can. I try and not get injured anymore. Did he just answer no to everything there? That's yeah. pretty much, wasn't it? I love it. All right, so this next segment is called What Do We Think Of? We've been trawling the internet and finding some cool clips. This is a reaction from former Arsenal midfielder John Jensen. He got a little bit frustrated. I absolutely love this. This is during the Manchester United game. Of course, we lost 3-1, but performed pretty well. This was his reaction to one of the goals. Have you ever seen anybody so aggravated by a single goal? He's literally banging his hands on the desk. In a second, I think he picks up some food and throws it in anger. I would never throw food in anger, never waste food. Look at it, he's absolutely livid. So my question is, when have you ever acted completely irrationally to something in football? It doesn't have to necessarily be a specific game. It could be anything you want. It could be a sending off, whatever you want. I, I don't know, like, I, I lose my head quite a lot. Like, in terms of, you know, one of those when you'll be watching it in a pub or something, you're watching <laughs> the game and you just go nuts at the referee a decision. It's like, what is that? It's a blatant foul. He's chopped him in half. <laughs> and as they start showing the replay, you realise that you're wrong and you just start lowering your tone. And you're like, and I mean, it's kind of got a bit of the ball, but it looks like he's kind of, yeah, it's actually a fair challenge. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I think I, you, uh, there's definitely a bit of, 
irrationality uh, to watching football, I think, is what makes it great. Mm -hmm. Joe, you've got to be irrational most of the time, 90% of the time. All right. the time, to be honest with you. When I'm playing football, I want to win, 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 win. So if I've got to throw some gloves on the floor like Alexis Sanchez, <laughs> that's gloves. exactly what I'm going to be doing every Sunday when I'm playing football. We're out there to do a job, and if it's not done, I'm throwing gloves on the floor. Irrational, Joel. Do you want to know a time when I acted really irrationally, and this just come to me? It's when I ordered a pizza, I won't say who it's from, mm -hmm. and they forgot my side of um, garlic sauce, and I was so livid, I called them up and made them come back on their bike and deliver it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I thank you. This I thank you. This is why we get on so well, Laura. Right? I might add that I didn't leave the house all day that day. It was well, a typical <laughs> Sunday, so, you know. Anyway, uh, should we move on? Uh, what do we think of this? This is a photoshopped image, of course, Ainsley Maitland-Niles and Roberto Carlos together by an Arsenal creator. After some of uh, Ainsley's brilliant performances lately, I love this. Boys, what do you think of that? Oh, it makes sense. Look it at does, him. It does, not it? Amazing stuff, mate. Honestly, if Reyes <laughs> can go to Real Madrid, he can go to Real Madrid, 100%. My question to you boys is, what either... It doesn't have to be a player necessarily, but what have you got a little bit too excited about too prematurely? Uh, I've done it again with games like... <laughs> I mean, I remember the Arsenal-Tottenham game a few years back where uh, we were like 2-0 up at half-time, or certainly leading, and then by the end of the game... As a last-minute winner for Tottenham, and I'd sent a number of text messages out, a uh, number of calls, <laughs> left voicemails, and to say the phone had to be turned off at the end of the game, battery removed, <laughs> you know, just <laughs> lobbed in the river. I couldn't it was it was disgraceful. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was that was tough. That was tough. Joel, I reckon you got a tail. Yeah, uh, as you guys know, Alex Awobi is a, he's a great guy. Get on well sometimes. Uh, done a few adverts with him. You when he first, it. yeah, I know, I know. When he it. first, when he first came, broke into the Arsenal, I'll say first team. I thought this guy's the next thing, man. He, he, ah, <laughs> oh, man. And he, and granted, he's he's really good. I was gonna get his name on the back of my shirt. And then the following season, it was a, it's a bit more, you know, mundane, shall I say? You know, sure. Alex, I've told you this personally, so it's all good. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> and um, so I got Lacazette's name. <laughs> In, oh. in the back of my shirt I've, I've, I've at the start it. of the season. You're so fickle, Joel. Listen, man, Alex, if you want, if you want my family, right, because I usually, because <laughs> I get the names on the back of my shirt for my kids and stuff like that, if you want my family to wear your name, I want to see at least 15 goals a season, mate. Mm. You know, simple as. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Um, take a look at this Bradford goal in the FA Cup. This is really interesting. What are your boys' thoughts on this? This is Romain Vincelot with the shot and it hits his teammate square oh, in the face. Oh. <laughs> Deflects and goes in. Techers. I mean, look at that. You can't even believe Brilliant it. Brilliant goal. Bradford went on to beat Plymouth 3 1, actually. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I, what are your thoughts on that? I Absolute take that. Oliver Beerhoff. Head Deliberate, head right? Head right? Deliberate. Straight, <laughs> get in there. That's straight from the training ground, that is, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's been worked on. It's, like awesome stuff. it's obviously a case of being in the right place at the right time. So, to you boys, when have you ever been in the right place at the right time? Or, I, on the contrary, the wrong place at the wrong time? I've had one of those in the wrong place at the wrong time. Have you? Like, uh, to be honest, I'm playing over Hackney Marshes. They shouldn't have even let the, goal, the game <laughs> go ahead. There's snow, like, out on the field, you know, it's dangerous. <laughs> and someone has just rocketed the ball right between my legs. You know, and I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, it was it was tough. It was tough. There was no there was no one with a magic spray because mm. I needed something yeah, down there. Not yeah. sponge spray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, nothing going on. So <laughs> I was just on the edge of the pitch, gri grabbing my groin up. I'm sorry, uh, so <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, yeah. But I'm here. I'm yeah. still walking. You know, and hope to have children. Yeah, ho hopefully so, so. <laughs> hopefully so. All right, Joe. What about you? Wrong place at the wrong time. We lost a few weeks ago to Man United, of course, 3-1. And I was doing the Arsenal Snapchat, make sure you add us on there. And uh, as I'm doing an outro of how bad it's been today, I turn around and who do I see? Jack Wilshere, just oh. kind of like... And he looked like he was trying to get out a shot at the same oh. time. And I got him out because I was like, I don't want to see you either, mate. So uh, <laughs> literally, that's probably the wrong place at the wrong time. No. So awkward, so awkward. It was ridiculous. Now, if you haven't had enough of Joel, lovely cheeky sport Joel, it doesn't matter because we've got another segment headed up by him. He was outside the Emirates ahead of our Carabao Cup clash against West Ham and here's how we got on. My name's She Sport Joel. It's time for another fan quiz. Let's go talk to the fans. <laughs> All right, mate, come on. How much do you know about our club, mate? Hey, madam. Uh, you're a confident Arsenal fan, yeah? Very confident. Hyped up. Can't wait. Who was the top goal scorer for Arsenal last season? It's got to be Sanchez, isn't it? It's Sanchez. Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez. Oh my, give this guy an award. Who was second top goal scorer? Olivier Giroud. Oh my days. Bling, 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 bling. He was third. 
Matthew Walker. Oh, no, nah, seriously. Olivier Giroud scored an amazing goal last season. What was it named? Uh... Rainbow flick. Oh my days. Is it? Know. What was it? Whoa. Scorpion kick. Yes! Scorpion kick. Mm. And do you know who it was against? No. Oh. Yes, you're right, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done. You was at the game as well. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. An Arsenal legend was recently made honorary king in Nigeria. Which player? A worthy. No, I'll give you a clue. He's got a statue at this ground here. Canoe. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a canoe statue here at the Emirates? <laughs> Thierry Henry. It was Thierry Henry, man. That was the fan quiz. This is Cheeky Sport Joel, and I'm out. Boys, when was the last time you saw a canoe statue at the Emirates? I oh, know, I mean, come on. Uh, you know, you should know what statues are there. If, if Carno was going to have one, though, I want him posing after he curled one in against Chelsea. Break their hearts. <laughs> With a really long boot. Yeah. Size yes. 14. Absolutely. Massive right. boot. The amount yeah. of metal going to yeah. be used just to make his shoes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we are nearing the end of the show, so it's just enough time for a quick fire round. We like to call it the back four. We have a minute, four questions, 60 seconds on the clock, please. Boys, are you ready? Yep. It's exciting. All right, Johnny, we're going to come to you first. Which Arsenal player would you least like to get as your secret Santa? Theo Walcott. I mean, the guy gets excited over a coffee machine. Come on, you've got to do more than that, Theo. Joe. Messi Ozil. What do you get the guy that's already won the World Cup? <laughs> nice one. Uh, Rosicki's retirement is happening. What's your favourite moment? It's definitely against Tottenham. In the FA Cup, you know, he's run through and he's broke their hearts. Anyone who breaks a Tottenham heart, you're, all, you're OK in my book. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Also, when we beat Tottenham 1-0 at White Hart Lane, Rosinski. All right, ever since Troy Deeney smeared our good name, he's hit a bad run of form. Missed a penalty, been sent off. Watford haven't won a game. Has he been hit with a curse of the cojones? Definitely, definitely. Troy, those in glass houses should not throw stones. And Watford is made out of glass. Simple. <laughs> Troy, you've hardly started for Watford this season. Oh! What are you talking about, mate? Focus right. on your own career. You've got five seconds left. What's your bold, under-the-radar Arsenal prediction for 2018? Uh, Carney to get a statue. Nice. <laughs> Reese Nielsen <laughs> to go to the World Cup with England. All right, boys, that is it. We ran a little bit over, but it doesn't matter because it was fabulous. Did you enjoy your experience? Oh, absolutely. Loved it. Thank you very much for coming on. You've been fantastic guests. And don't forget, you can get involved in the discussion. You can comment in the box below, or you can go onto Twitter and use the hashtag ArsenalNation. And we might include your comments next time. But for now, from us, see you later. And then point, yep, and then just hold it. Up here, down here. Yeah, up there. Up there. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>